Hi there, I'm here to share a little bit about Swift Playgrounds. It's an app I was introduced to this created by Apple and it's um, their programming language that you can use for app development both on the iPad and um, the full version is available on a MacBook. The Playgrounds really make it more accessible and a great next step for some of our coders that have made it through um, some of the block coding they're exploring. So they're kind of targeting that junior middle schooler, uh, but I have to say I am loving the challenges myself. So we have two playgrounds there that we can download that will actually teach us with playground. And they have these great pieces where they actually break down what code is and why we would use different pieces of code. So I love the illustrations that it brings uh, to life what a loop is and why I would use a loop, working through those different steps. Uh, the other piece that we do have in the Learn to Code is we have challenges. So as I look at my playground here, I can actually click on my code and see if I can um, bring it in. Now notice that it's a little different than my block coding, but they've still eliminated my choices so that it's a bit easier for me to work through the code. And I can see if we got that going. And there we go. I coded it. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Now, in addition to having the Learn to Code playgrounds, you can actually create any playground at any time. Um, and they have some starting points for kids, but I was exploring with answers. So I actually just used the starting point that they had created. And you have chunks of code we can bring in, as well as when we're typing they've kind of broken down the coding language into manageable chunks so that when I run this I can explore and see have different responses and I don't know if that's gonna work because I didn't use a capital Ah, and lesson learned with your code now if you're wanting to get started with coding and Swift in your classroom check out Swift Playgrounds one word of caution you do new do need iOS 10 uh, but there's a great iBook available that walks you through lessons, breaking down those different thinking skills that are involved in the coding process. Enjoy!